today guys we test what seems to be a whole new kind of fear monger that being the times 8 version how is it going guys my name is dpj and today i bring you a review of the fear monger times 8 variant if you guys do enjoy the video leaving a thumbs up truly helps me out if you enjoy your stay here and want to see more borderlands be sure to subscribe also guys every week i give away copies of this game to win one for yourself or a friend simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below Okay, so thanks to Trolling Donkey for this variant of the Fearmonger. Also to the person who let me know this did exist on my six different variant Fearmonger video, which I posted the other day. Okay, so the Fearmonger, an exclusive shotgun to the Bloody Harvest event, which ends on December 5th. This shotgun and the various variants I actually own all in reality do act kind of the same just varying in different elemental types. Within that video of me reviewing this Fearmonger and every variant I had, all six variants I did have were times four variants. What this means is they all shoot four projectiles per shot and you'll consume two ammo per shot at the same time. A comment left to me stated there's a super rare times eight variant, which got me really intrigued. As per usual, my go to man trolling donkey, who is the dude to trade with on Xbox, who you can chat with on my Discord linked within the video description, had this version and sent it my way. So it does exist people and here it is. So let's take a look at it. Well firstly upon firing it, I actually couldn't see it, it was firing 8 shots. To me it looks like it's just firing 4 projectiles as the usual Fearmonger does. And I did numerous tests and although it seemingly did more DPS through the initial shots, I couldn't actually come to the conclusion that it was firing 8 projectiles. And to be honest guys, this video was almost a waste of time, I almost scrapped it. The thing is, because it also, like it states, consumes 3 ammo per shot, but seemingly shoots 4 projectiles, also do roughly the same damage as other Fearmongers on initial impact, as although it's 554 times 8 which is when compared to any other Fearmonger I own, doing more damage, it isn't a great increase. But if there are 8 projectiles that all do lingering damage, it could be incredible. So I carried on trying to test. I went to various different bosses and enemies to see if I could get the answer with damage numbers. But it was just stupid hard to make out. I'm absolutely glad a test dummy is coming though. I could have used it here. But after travelling to multiple places, I still couldn't work out if it was firing 8 projectiles. I mean, because obviously if you miss a projectile, and depending on rolls and modifiers and so forth. Plus, I don't have that other Fearmonger which does the same kind of stats. Some have better critical damage bonuses, some have worse, some have better weapon damage bonuses, some have worse. I mean, unless the stats are identical besides the times 8 and times 4, it's too hard to actually compare. So I then went on to try and look in the photo mode to see if there were extra trail beams, which initially I thought there was. Because here, as you can see on the screen now, it does kind of look like they are doubled up. And it might be the case of actually firing 8 projectiles, but because they're so closely tied together, it just looks like 4. But when I switched to my solar version, the exact same thing was happening with this. It looked like it was shooting 8, but it was actually just 4. Now it would have made sense me testing this with my other shock variant, which was in my bank. But because I was already out in the wild, and the only other version I had on me was my solar, and even though I came to the conclusion, even if photo mod it was either way, that both had the same sort of trail effect, it didn't really make a difference. So I went back to Sanctuary anyway just to get my other shock variant. And the exact same thing was happening with this people. It does have the exact same trail effect within photo mod, as the times 8 did. So I almost give up guys. I mean even the explosions look the same. That was until people I started shooting at the floor and then I noticed. When we shoot at the floor of the times 4 variant, the shock variant, we see leaves behind 4 shock bolts within the floor. Then I switched to the times 8, shot the floor and I noticed in photo mode only that they do indeed seem to double up. 2 bolts per projectile. And this is what it takes to even realise that it is shooting 8 projectiles. It's just they are so tightly together with the initial 4 shot, each doubling up, you can't tell by shooting it. So this super rare times 8 variant does indeed do what it states. And I will state the variant I have isn't the best. I've seen one or two better variants out there, which are the only other two I've seen, which are times 8. So they do exist. But after using it for a while, I can say it's the better version in my opinion. It although doesn't seem to do much more damage on initial impact, but because it has 8 bolts and fires 8 bolts that do do lingering damage, even with that lower elemental damage effect, in the longer run, it is indeed doing more damage. And it's quite hard to see unless you slow things down really and count numbers, which I have done. 
Now, would I say this is the best Fearmonger variant? Well, that's a hard question to actually answer due to the variant I have been shock. I mean, if you want it for taking off shields, then yes. But when shields are depleted, it all depends on the enemy you are up against and the modifiers. Comparing it to my other shock variant, the times four shock variant, you can see the damage is higher. But my times four has a better critical hit damage bonus. So comparing them in reality is unfair. Now if these stat benefits match a little better, the comparison would have been fair to do. Now if my times A did have uh, the same critical hit damage bonus and not so bad of a weapon damage negative bonus, I would 100% guarantee you guys it would be the much better shotgun here. So yes, the times A does exist. Yes, it can be better. And yes, I recommend you trying to get your hands on it. Now this is exclusive to Captain Haunt and Luke Ghost during this event only people, the Bloody Harvest, which ends on the 5th of December. So you do have time to land yourself one. Now if you do have another version of this shotgun, a times 8 and you play on Xbox, you can send me a message to IMDPG or join my Discord and chat with me there, linked within the video description. So yeah guys, today I bring you the super rare times 8 Fearmonger, a monster for long term lingering damage, firing 8 bolts which all linger and do great damage, great against shields. Well as you can imagine my shock variant is anyway, but others do exist out there, other better variants do exist out there and this is in my opinion the must own Fearmonger. And as you can see in the background now, it's a very capable weapon against bosses for them shields and definitely against mobs of enemies. So although it doesn't really look like it's doing much more, in reality it is. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video people. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.